Hi, I'm OZ Hull. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is an unboxing video for the RS9 Rhythm Sequencer Eurorack module. We'll open it, install it, and briefly introduce the module. We'll explore it in more detail in future videos, so be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. First, let's open the box and see what's in it. quick start guide. Here's the module itself. We also have the power cable and screws for installing it. And here we have the module itself. Let's get a little closer look. It's 52 HP wide. There's the back of it. Next we'll install it in the fourth row of the System 55. We'll remove the second 960 sequencer to make room. In addition to the RS9, we'll add this Peaks module, which can produce an 808 style kick and snare. The System 55 will provide several channels of different percussion and sound effects. The RS9 drum sequencer for Eurorack has the following features 52 HP width, leaving 32 HP in a 19 inch rack mount which is 84 HP wide, 64 steps per pattern, 16 patterns per song, and 16 songs, 10 drum channels with trigger and accent, one CV channel out to control an external filter or other module, more on that later, the pattern memory that we've mentioned, random capability, probability percentage, polymetric for doing polyrhythms, onboard live jamming control including autofill, note repeat, repeat of multiple notes, and track, mute, and solo. Sync in and out for integration to both analog and digital interfaces, including MIDI, and reset in. Now that we've got the RS9 installed, let's do the simplest of patches with just kick and snare drum. The sounds will come from the two channels of the Mutable Instruments Peaks module. We've connected the trigger from RS9 channel 1 to the kick trigger in on the peaks. Channel 2 goes to the snare. The two audio outputs have been mixed in the output mixer of the System 55 with inputs 3 and 4. Let's set up a 16-beat pattern on the RS9. The tempo has been set to 120 beats per minute. Press song and the white LED indicates we're using song number one. Press pattern and the amber LED indicates that pattern one is empty. Press step for step record. Press the record transport button and we're in record mode. Optionally we can press play pause so that we can hear the active steps in the pattern. Press channel one for the kick. Press steps 1, 5, 9, and 13 for a 4 on the floor kick drum pattern. Select channel 2 for the snare. Press steps 5 
and 13 for a backbeat snare. Press the record again to exit record button and we can stop and start the play with the transport button. Finally, we can press save to save this pattern. And we'll save it in pattern one. This is a boringly simple pattern, but it shows the basic steps for creating patterns on the RS9. There's so much more to do with the RS9 and the System 55. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to get notified when Episode 2 of the RS9 series is available. Meanwhile, check out the link above for Behringer's introductory video. Thanks for watching.